yellow gamer gnome is back and in this video we're going to help this gnome with the ice fruit reach pro status where the echo slam oh they're yes. dancing forward there's your slam there's the dump and to start this video we're going to eat the ice fruit guys check the animation while eating well done by the developers also guys the fruit comes with a trident yes for those who don't know before the update an ice fruit comes with an ice sword now they improve it to a trident and you can use this to lure your enemies also our first skill dies spears thanks multi-target high damage a very good skill guys <laughs> so it's up to you use your left clicks or your ice spears to defeat your enemy let's not forget that this fruit is elemental or log effect which means if your enemy doesn't have hockey they cannot hit you in a certain level so at level 15 we will go to the jungle skip the monkeys and go straight to the gorillas because we're level 15 right one more thing you can walk on water i almost forgot to show that okay so with the gorillas you can lure them and go in the high ground and use your left clicks that's it guys very easy right with just one or two quests you will reach level 20 and now you can start defeating the boss in this island the gorilla king Usually my target here is hit him and go in high ground, right? For this fruit, you can bait him into using his skills. For example, this one in dodge back, he will use his own skills and after that, you can use your left clicks. Doing this strategy, you don't need to wait for your ice spears to cool down. You can keep on damaging him. Again, let's bait him to use his skills. There you go. Okay, and defeat him. Okay, I hope that's clear. Guys, you will be doing some server hop here until you reach level 30. And after that is the pirate village. So here we're gonna start defeating the pirates. Guys, we're not yet Logia or Elemental Effect at level 30 so we can get damage. But don't worry, they're still easy to defeat. There you go. And guys, we can get items. Like for example, the leather and the scrap metal. You can use this to upgrade your weapons. Moving on, we will unlock our second skill, the Ice Surge. While grinding the pirates, this is the Ice Surge. Now we have two skills to defeat the enemy. And at level 35, Guys, Logia or Elemental is in effect, so they cannot hit you. Grinding will be faster here, so at level 40, next target, the Brutes. We will grind here 15 levels. Guys, the strategy is the same, don't worry. Guys, did you notice this? The Brutes has their own skill, check that out. Very good graphics or animation. So again, shout out to the developers for doing a great job, okay? So guys, at level 55, you can start defeating Bobby or Buggy the Clown. He is the boss in this island. So guys, check this out. Use your skills, right? And after doing that, he will be using his skill. So just dodge to the side. Guys, did you see that? Smooth like butter, right? Okay, so just keep on dodging. Use your skills. And that's it. The light of a full moon peeks through the clouds. Guys, this is something to do with the race awakening. I will be tackling that once I finish the fruit reworks. Now that you know how to defeat Buggy easily, you're gonna leave this area at level 60 for the stats, box fruits 143, mill defense 20. Next up, the desert. So here guys, Logia or Elemental Sin Effect with the Desert Bandits. So very easy grind here. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 75. At level 75 guys, finally you can start defeating the Desert Officers and we've unlocked our third skill, the Ice Bird. So part of the revamp is every time you use your Ice Bird, check the enemies, they will be covered in ice, like in ice cube, so maybe you can use them for halo halo. <laughs> Just joking guys. Again, here is the ice cubes. There you go. Okay, so guys, we're gonna leave this area at level 90. But in our case, we reach 91. Next island is the frozen village. So here the snow bandits do not have hockey, so they cannot damage you, right? Just keep on using your skills, left clicks, and grind until 105. So now, after that, you can start defeating Yeti, the boss in this island. For the technique, you're gonna use your skills for damage, right? Also, you can use your dash and left clicks, there you go, to bait him to use his skills. So instead of just waiting for your skills to cool down, you can damage him, okay? So again, dash, left click, dash, left click. That's the technique to defeat him. There you go, as you can see, very easy. We're gonna leave this area at level 120. Next area is the Marine Fortress. Target mob is the chief petty officer. Again, log is in effect at level 120. There you go. So guys, easy grind here. All you need is additional patience. So at level 130, you can start defeating the vice admiral. Guys, I'm gonna show it to you once, okay? 
So you're gonna lure the boss. Okay, damage him. And after that, go here. You might get hit once. Okay, so jump and use your left clicks. And that's it. Okay, guys, very easy. So guys, you're gonna do server hop. And this boss, we're gonna unlock our last skill, the Glacial Epoch. Final skill of this fruit. Well, it's unawakened. Okay, so at 220, stat check. Melee 75, defense 75, blocks fruits 510. Next stop, the prison. So when I arrive at the prison, someone is already killing the chief warden, but that is not my target. Our target is the warden. He even damaged me. Check the damage, but I didn't mind him. Because I didn't judge him, I told myself that he just made a mistake of hitting me. So I lured the warden here. Guys, this is our technique on all of the bosses. Lure them here and use the wall strat. And that's it. The other dude who attacked us just made a mistake, right? So there you go. Next stop, the chief warden. Very easy. Wall strat 2. Okay, that's at 230 and 240. The swan, guys, you need to create distance to dodge his skill. But if you can dodge it, go back, use your left clicks, and that's it. Target level 350. Here are the stats. Blast foot 750. Field defense 150. Next island is the magma village. Guys, this is lava versus ice. So the technique here is same with Boggy the Clown. Use your skills, dodge. Again, use your skills and dodge and repeat. Okay? Just be patient with this boss because there is no wall strat compared to the previous one. Again, patience is the key. But don't worry at level 425 in the underwater city. The next boss is the Fishman Lord. And the only thing you need to do is lure him, wait for him to go here, and defeat him. Guys, the only way he can damage you is one of his skills. But that is not enough to defeat you. So keep on grinding here. Again, server hop is the key. And the target level here is level 500. So guys, we're gonna skip lots of mobs. But this is the fastest way, I assure you. Next up, Skylands. By the way, I noticed this one. So you don't need to destroy this anymore. Just go here. There you go. And you can be teleported for those fruits who do not have explosions or whatever. So for the target, the Whisper. There you go. Guys, Stone Strat again. So lure him here. Guys, when you're here, he cannot damage you with his bazooka. Check that out. Boom, no damage. So you can use your skills after that. Wait for him. Okay, use your skills. You can even use your left clicks. And that's it, guys. Very easy. So, guys, another server up here. We're gonna skip the Thunder God and just grind here until you reach level 635 to 637. Because in the Fountain City, the final city, guys, you're immune to Gallic Pirates only. Okay? So guys, to make things easier, just grind here until level 700. Or guys, if you want, when you reach level 675, you can start defeating the cyborg. Okay? So guys, do you want me to continue this video? Comment it in the comment section. But so far, I will be continuing the leopard and the gum or rubber fruit to max level. So guys, comment it in the comment section if you want me to make a video of a rework fruit. Okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters. I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nome. Gamer Nome out.